Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we last left off, we had pretty much finished up everything in the Undercity. Um, and that is where we left off. We were pretty beat up. Uh, so I came back to the uh, the hideout. Primarily so that we could uh, go ahead and um, heal up a little bit. And uh, also I up upgraded Karth's blaster a little bit. So it, I think it does a little bit more damage now. But, um, yeah, I'd also like to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of stuff maybe before we do the Black Vulcan base. Like, there are, there are these arena fights that, that we could check out. I'm not sure exactly what happens after we do the Vulgar base, so I kind of want to see what we can get through now. Because I don't want to, um, I don't want to level up anymore if I can avoid it. Um, just due to some character optimization shenanigans that I've never tried before, so I thought now would be a good time. But I also thought maybe we, back. we would come over here and, uh, let's see. Oh, we do have the serum for the Rackle disease. I guess we can give that to him. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, it, wait. It, I don't really want to know. Can, <laughs> can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Uh, yeah, here you go. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the Rackgul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Um, hmm. Let's see. Are you sure you couldn't uh, spare a little something extra? I suppose I could give you a discount here at my shop, in there addition we go. to the credits and med packs. Other than that, there is really nothing else I can offer. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? All right, now let's do uh, a little bit of shopping. Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're a little bit low on med packs, so I was thinking about maybe picking up a few of those. Um... There's also this ra this rackable serum we can buy. Uh, I don't know why we would, but let's see, I'm also kind of interested in some of these, but we actually don't have the implant level to even equip this one, which would be pretty useful. So I think um, I'm not gonna buy the advanced med packs. But I'm gonna buy buy three regular med packs, and we got some light side points and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think that'll put us in a little bit a little bit better shape for now. Now let's see if uh blow it. If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. But no, you had to go and do the honorable thing. Man, I will beat your sorry ass. Uh <laughs> lose all those light side points I got. <laughs> uh but anyway, yeah, we uh we're going to go to the cantina now and see if we can do some of these arena fights. I think we should be able to to handle things pretty darn readily. I can't remember if we've done any of them yet. I think we haven't. Um, so the first couple at least should be pretty easy. We've got, got med packs, we've got... Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Uh, yeah, what the fuck, kids? Leave him alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Yo, how the fuck would you know, you little brat? <laughs> um, let's see. Get out of here, you punks, or you'll be the ones in pain. Oh, run for it! <laughs> All right. Um, uh, shit. He looks hurt. Let's give him a med pack and get some more light side points, I guess. All right. All right. All right. We're a goody fucking two shoes. I get it. Um. Now let's go beat some someone's ass in the arena. Oh, why am I? Why the fuck did I go here? 
That doesn't seem right. Time out. Um, let's see. This is where we are. Upper city south. I think that's where I want to go. Right? Maybe? Because that's the Sith base, lower city, and droids. Actually, you know, thinking about, uh, do we have a quest to, to think about uh, getting some droids or something like that at some point? I don't remember. Seems like I've, I've definitely completely missed the uh, the cantina, though. I guess it was in, uh, I guess it must have been in Upper City South. So I guess we'll go back down there. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was up here. But that clearly uh, is not the case. So let's go, let's go back down here. And I guess it must be... Clinic. Equipment Emporium. There's the cantina. Okay. So, um, yeah, we can also maybe check out the equipment shop. I don't know if she's going to have anything. Um, yeah. Eventually, we are going to be dual wielding, but just not quite yet. We need a few more, uh, a few more levels before I feel comfortable doing it, especially with a, a scout type character like this. But I can't remember what she has, so let's see if she has anything worth Welcome buying. Welcome to the let's see what she because got. of this. Um, hmm, security spikes, some heavy armor, actually, well, I guess it's a light armor, it's a heavy suit, but it's light armor. Um, hmm, a Sith sniper rifle, you say? Way too expensive, though. It's basically the same as a blaster rifle. I mean, it's a little bit better, plus one to hit, and uh, plus one, uh, Base damage. So, I mean, that's. I mean, it's not awful. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna. We're not gonna buy any of this stuff. Let's just. Let's just get out of here. Let's see. Now the cantina is gonna be this way. All right. I'm actually curious. Whatever. What other quests we may uh, have out here? I don't. Can't remember if there's anything else we're gonna do. Maybe bounties or something at some point. Um. Let's see, where's our quest log? Yeah, we have Dia's bounty. Um. Oh, we I guess we haven't talked to Dia yet. We should probably do that at some point. Um. Official government bounty on Selvan. I don't know if we found her yet. I think we did. There's also a bounty on Bendex. Star Killer, that's the guy right next to us. Right here in the sewers. Just seeing a droid and um, yeah, we can talk to Karth. I don't want to talk to Karth, though, honestly. Let's, uh, let's see. Where's our, where's our bounty office? Nope, not there. Oh, was this, oh, I was going to say, am I in the wrong spot? I didn't think so. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set ourselves up with a fight. <laughs> I might be interested. What's in it for me? Viral mm. blades mm. and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Uh, I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. Oh, we tried, we tried. All right, all right. Ugh. 
Mysterious Stranger? That's a terrible name. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. I am ready for a duel. Alright. I just said yes, man. How many times do I gotta fucking say yes? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, excuse the dogs. Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Alright, here we go. Can we take on Deadeye Duncan? I think we can. He's, uh, yeah. He's not that, he's not that tough. It's over! The fight is over! The Mysterious Stranger has won! But really... Are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. All right. Let's go collect our winnings, shall we? Hey, we get some XP too. That's fine. Let's see, where's Duncan? What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring and now you're going to rub it in my face. Eh, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Uh, well, man, you got a bad attitude. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Uh, I'll just be going. Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, then. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Alright, 100 credits. That's not, that's not very many credits, but... Tell you what. It's better than uh, none credits. Although I think we could have talked him up to like 15 or 20% maybe. Can't recall. But, uh, that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do another duel. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you girl on two fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger. All right, here we go. Can we beat him? Maybe. Need to uh, shoot him more better than that, though. I mean, he's actually not doing a great job of hitting us either, but. There we go, there's a good hit. He's got a lot more HP than everybody else. Thinking, I don't know. I'm not sure if this rapid shot is really what we want in this uh, particular instance. Although we got a decent amount of HP, I guess. I think we're some pr pretty, handily, uh, pretty handily in our corner. There we go, nicely done. It's over! The fight is over! The Mysterious Stranger has won! 
Gerlon losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. All right. A little more XP. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. You say so. Money, please. And <laughs> eh, 200 credits. Well, that's better than nothing. Next. I'm just going to skip through these dialogues because it's basically the same. This may be where we meet our match. I'm not sure. Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Here we go. I'm not going to rapid shot her. I don't think it's a good idea. We may even need to use our energy shield here. I think we can use whatever items we want. Um, it's not considered cheating, so that includes grenades and, and all that. Yeah. Taking a few hits, but we're not doing too bad. Ooh, that one didn't feel very good, though. She hits pretty darn hard. Yeah, wow. Use that med pack. That's going to be important. I don't know how many grenades we have left. I'm not sure. I think, uh... Get this energy shield, uh... A ticking. Because, uh, yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. That hurt, I bet. There we go. Got a crit in there. That's pretty good. Oh, she's got med kits too. That's cheating now. <laughs> Can't tell how many nades we have. Can't even actually read what kind of grenades. Uh, these are got a sonic grenade, poison grenade, concussion grenade, and one frag grenade. All right. We'll uh, we'll see. That hurt, I bet. Hey, we did it. It's over. The fight is. Over! The mysterious stranger has won! Ice is knocked out cold! Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Alright. Something tells me she's not going to be pleased that she lost. But who else do we have? We got... Marl... And Twitch. And it looks like that's it. All right. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. Ugh. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's uh, let's get our winnings. All right. We are a little bit banged up, so rather than use med packs, I'm actually gonna go and um, return to our base, and then we can go and talk to Dia on the way out. And then we'll come back and maybe see if we can finish up these other couple fights here. So, uh, I guess I think we actually have to walk outside first, but, uh, that's fine. That's not the right way. I think it's, that's not the right way. I guess it must be this one. There we go. Okie dokie. Now we should be able to return to the hideout. Very nice. Now what I'm actually tempted to do here is, um, Actually wondering if 
Cause, like, if you look at our gun, uh, our gun. I yeah, here we go. Nineteen to twenty times two, one to eight damage. But if we look at um, can I look at other characters now. I guess not. I have to do that outside. Actually, maybe we can do it this way. If we look at. Well, Zalbar's Bowcaster for one. Uh, one to ten damage, plus one to hit. I don't know if we can use Zalbar's bow Bowcaster, though. Uh, and then we have Karth's Blaster. So it's three to eight, also plus one to hit. I'm wondering if maybe... Put a scope on that, does even a little bit more damage. I wonder if we can use Zalbar's Bowcaster temporarily here. I'm very, very curious about that, in fact. Um, I don't know if we can look at people's equipment... Uh, without going outside, though. So let's let's get Zalbar in our party for a minute. We'll bring mission as well. Let's let's take a look at what you got. We actually could level up Zalbar if we really wanted to, but uh, I'm going to refrain from doing that for now. Oh, he's actually not even equipped with anything. Um, can I equip? Yeah, dude, I can equip his bowcaster. That's awesome. It's very very useful. Oh, he's not happy about that. <laughs> That's okay, he'll get over it. Uh, let's see, how, which way is out? Is it down, down this way? Oh yeah, we can talk to Dia. We wanted to talk to Dia real quick. You're back. Did you, did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I spoke with him and convinced them to remove the bounty, yes. He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. All right, thank you. A uh, reward will be fine. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. All right, we got something. What did we get? Um. Uh. Frag grenades. Oh yeah, we have these adrenal things that we should probably use too. Hmm. What in the world did she give me? So the papers. Oh, maybe this. Uh, ooh, interesting. Well, we'll uh, put that to use maybe another time. For now, though. Let's get back to the cantina, and uh, we'll go ahead. Go ahead and um, get back uh, get back in the arena. Now, Zelbar, I, I, we could level up Zelbar. I don't think there's any reason to right this second, but uh, he's a scout like we are, I believe. Um, so that is. Uh, hey, Big Z, we gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad, worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? <coughs> oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. <coughs> No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <coughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. <coughs> Uh huh. Well, that's an interesting exchange. I was not expecting to see. I'm going the wrong fucking way again, aren't I? God damn it! Always going the wrong way. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll cruise back over here. Now I I don't know if there's any penalty for us using this bowcaster, other than Big Z doesn't seem to uh, necessarily appreciate it all that much. But it is objectively a better weapon than the um the blaster rifle we were using. So. Feel like uh, it's in our best interest to use it. In fact, we could have 
unequipped uh, some of Karth's stuff and made this just a little bit better. Um, see, excuse me, where uh, where you at, big man? The fuck are you doing all the way over there, man? And hung up on something, I guess. Yes. Okay. How are we doing here? We've got still got our energy shield. Frag mines. Hmm. I think we're gonna need to start using like adrenal alacrities and shit like that. But I'd like to save save them for uh, for a little bit later, if possible. We'll see. We'll see. Our gas mine, frag mine. Yeah, we might use a frag mine in the not too distant future here. So we're going to fight somebody in melee, and uh, that's usually bad news. Because I don't think our, uh, our energy shield is going to help us with that. Alright, ready for it. Let's do it. Yeah, I think this Ladies is the melee guy. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Marl. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. All right. We're gonna drop a mine. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shot. And now we shoot. <laughs> shoot him with all of our might. Let's um. Whoa! We just got knocked the fuck out. The stranger <laughs> is down. The mysterious stranger. Merle has done it again. Ooh. Twenty years and still going strong for the veteran. And the hard lesson for the up and coming rookie. Better luck next time, stranger. All right. Well, we're gonna have to do a little bit better than that. We just got like power attack to into a fucking oblivion there. I wonder if he'll heal if we take him on again. <laughs> um. Not right now. Let's get back to uh, to full HP, I guess. Let's use one of those. And uh, we'll probably use an adrenal stamina. Hmm. Not sure if this will work if we use it now, but I'm gonna try. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend in the skip sport. all this. A 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids. Oh, we can't skip this. Oh, there we go. All right, Fragmine. Not sure if a fragment is actually what we want here, but uh we'll try and hit him with a concussion grenade here as well. Oh, uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I have no idea what happened. There's no animation or anything. I guess we'll call it an episode here. When we come back, we will either keep trying to do a couple more of these, or we'll probably just move on. And go back to um, go back to the the task at hand, which is finding Basila. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.